Hello ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Essence, and welcome back to another fragrance review. I hope this video finds you well. Thank you so much for tuning in. And in addition to the review, we're also going to be doing a giveaway, a full-size bottle of this scent in addition to six other full-size bottles. Make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video, which is where I'm going to tell you how you can enter this giveaway. It's actually really simple. It only takes about two minutes or so. So this fragrance released in September of 2015 is not actually composed by Ariana Grande of course um, but the perfumer for this scent is not listed online unfortunately but it does fall in line with some other scents that have a familiar smell to them maybe I'll make some comparisons later on in this review now I think the smell of this fragrance largely caters to the same demographic that her music caters to this fragrance is classified as a fruity floral gourmand and let's start things off by taking a look at the presentation here on the front of the box, you have a picture of Ariana Grande with her name on it. On the very back, you have another picture of Ariana Grande. On the top, you have her signature with a heart right below it. And then on the very bottom, you have the UPC code and the serial number, as well as the ingredients. Now, when you look at the bottle, it is a pretty cute looking bottle. Uh, it's very sort of youthful and contemporary and a little flashy. It has this ball of fluff here on the side. And as you can tell, it's actually a keychain, so you could detach it and put it on your carabiner or hang it along with your keys. You have a sticker at the bottom with your information. It kind of reminds me of the Flower Bomb bottle, but more edgy. Um, it has Ariana Grande engraved into the rim of the neck, and the distribution on this one is actually pretty good. It gets the job done really well, no complaints. And that was the presentation for Ari by Ariana Grande. Now, when the scent opens up, there's a prominent sweetness. And it's a sweetness that would immediately make you inclined to say, this is childish, this is juvenile, maybe even immature. But once you let this fragrance settle on your skin, you'll see that it's not all that sickly sweet. As a matter of fact, I would venture to say that it's not nearly as sweet as Angel by Terry Mugler is, even though that masterpiece of a fragrance is very brilliantly balanced out with the use of the note of patchouli, this one has its own redeeming features too. So it opens up with this marshmallow cord, which is a combination, I would say, of a few different aroma molecules sort of giving off that scent. And of course, who is not enticed by the smell of marshmallows? Just add some grain graham crackers and chocolates and we're good to go. But this one, in, in, aside from doing that, it does have a note of raspberry which provides a pleasant fruity sweetness. What I like about this scent is that it does deviate from the path that other fragrances of the like trudge down and that's, it abstains from using notes like nectarine, it abstains from using notes like peach, notes like apricot that are so widely used in women's perfumes. This one uses the note of raspberry, but it also has rose and lily. It also has the note of vanilla orchid, which gives a little bit of a sweetness to the composition. I'm sure a little bit of vanillin is used in the base as well, giving it that overall sweet vibe. But I think, like I said earlier on, and the review that this fragrance is going to cater to those who like her music because they're typically of a younger demographic and I think they're going to fall in love with this scent. I think it's a pretty cute bottle if that's the age, that's your age and that's what you're going for. And the smell is very pleasant and I could imagine a guy loving the way you smell when you pass him by. But this is a really nice fragrance. I just think it's catered towards a younger crowd and I think the performance leaves a little bit to be desired. But overall, this is a very well done scent and I think it's not extreme in any extreme. I don't think there's too much marshmallow. I don't think there's too much raspberry. I think there's a very good balance of notes used in this one. So stay tuned for my final review and I'll tell you how you can win a full size bottle of the scent. First up, I took a look at the uniqueness and the overall smell. And even though this scent isn't completely unique in the sense that it doesn't deviate from other scents so drastically or dramatically that it contrasts in the smell so much, it doesn't. I think it does fall in line with other contemporary releases, especially what you would expect from a celebrity scent. And I think it is a good scent, which is why it was nominated for uh, an award ceremony, actually the Consumer Choice Awards for the Fragrance Foundation. So it's actually running in the number one spot for best women's popular release. Um, I think it is a solid scent. Again, it just might not appeal to everyone because 
it is pretty sweet. It does have a youthful feel about it. And uh, it's one of those scents that you would just have to try for yourself to see what I'm talking about. As far as longevity for this one, I didn't get the best longevity, unfortunately. I got about five hours, and then it started to sit closer to the skin. And for the Eau de Parfum concentration that it is, I was expecting it to last a little bit longer. Projection was okay for the first hour and a half to two hours, and then it started to sit closer to the skin, becoming more of like a sensual, playful skin scent. Versatility on this one I think is pretty good because it, it comes with a good price point. You can wear this casually, you can wear this on a date, night out. Um, I just think it caters to a younger demographic and I think it would work better in the hotter weather. And then lastly, presentation. I know some might say it's kitschy, some might say it's cute, but think about the kind of person who's going to buy this bottle. They're not looking for a rectangular box to put on their shelves. They want something that is kind of flashy at the expense of some considering it gaudy or kitschy. I think it's a pretty cool looking bottle. If I were to give this fragrance an overall score, I would probably give it something like a 6 out of 10. It's a good fragrance, it is, and I think it does cater to a younger demographic. However, I think that this is a scent that people might say is a familiar scent, that they've smelled other sweet, young, playful, you know, uh, scents of the like, and I think that that might draw them away from it, but when you look at the bigger picture, it actually is really nice done, and I like that it highlights some ingredients that are unconventional. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That was my review of Ari by Ariana Grande. If you own or have tried this scent, it's a great scent. Please let me know uh, what you think by leaving a comment down below, and here is how you're going to be able to enter the giveaway to win yourself a full-size bottle of this scent. It's actually a very simple process. It doesn't take more than two minutes. All you have to do is, I'm gonna leave a link to a video here and down below. I want you to click that link, and then I want you to follow through, and everything that video tells you to do, you're gonna to have to vote for what your favorite scent is. It's like a two minute process, but at the end, you'll be entered to win seven full-size bottles of perfume hosted by the Fragrance Foundation. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being a subscriber. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.